Greetings and salutations, YouTubers and malfactors. Back here at Stoplogic Motorsports. Well, technically, Stoplogic Motorsports family. This house. Doing a little house sitting while they're out of town. And uh, at the same time, we kind of had the perfect storm of a bunch of strange stuff go on. So, as I touched on in the previous video, my roommates had an involuntary vow of uh, non-vehicular ownership. So basically, I'm riding the uh, WR250R everywhere. Everywhere! I'm letting it cool off a bit. Hmm. Dang. As soon as there's quite a bit left. Keep an eye on how much gas I use. I ran into a slight snag. I lack carrying capacity on this bike. So as you guys know, I used to have a uh, Africa Twin. That's still warm. And it had saddle bags, or I guess cases, <laughs> saddle bags. And uh, well, this bike does not. However, we're going to search to remedy this issue. Because I've got to somehow manage to carry my carry my cold wet weather cold and wet weather gear, and a change of clothes for the rest of the week. So we're doing the Tusk Traverse Pan Airbags, and I actually have the small, which the extra small is what comes with the kit. I got the small, thinking it'd be like a bag of reasonable size, but uh, my God, that was a humongous bag. If I have to get that one out, I will. And we're going to follow some basic installation tips and instructions today and see if I can get these things on here in a timely fashion and then go get me some clothes to wear to work tomorrow. <sighs> Unfortunately, as the bike is uh, fresh off of a near 40 mile ride to my parents' house, they're a little too warm to be uh, really tossing a bunch of nylon on around the uh, around the exhaust. So let's take a quick perusal of these instructions and most likely I'll uh, take five and sit down and let the vibration drop out of my body. Huh, not a lot of instructions. Place Velcro straps over the seat. Adjust the bag sit seat level. And trim them to, if you want to after you're done. I got a whole video on this on the Rocky Mountain ATV website, so hmm, I'll check it out at some point soon. Ah, make sure the bags don't set directly on the exhaust you got a shield, which the WR250R comes with a shield if you keep the stock exhaust. If not, they have the giant loop exhaust that also works. And we attach... Hooks under the fender. Pull straps tight. I don't have a rack, so we're not going to be strapping to the rack. So we're going to start with two and two A. Push towards front bike, increase tension. Little D ring. Buckle by pull tight. Make sure these straps do not hit the exhaust. Yeah, well, my hands are relatively uh, close to the exhaust right now too. Front strap. Loop front strap around the bike. Frame or solid attachment point. Thread strap through the buckle in front of the bags. Pull tight. Secure all loose ends. Trim to fit your bike. Make sure they're not in uh, contact with anything hot or sharp. And check your luggage every ride to make sure it's not falling off or melting or catching on fire or putting the world under threat of uh, nuclear annihilation. Etc. 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 So let's get a general feel for these bags. We got what looks like a uh, hard denier material on the inside. I think these might be on backwards. Yeah, well, that's on backwards. That kind of makes sense. So these appear like they would stay fairly well out of the way. 
<laughs> they actually perfectly fit my uh perfectly fit my uh number plates almost oh we'll take a break while this thing cools off so i'm not melting pannier bags and uh pick this back up here in about 20 minutes or so yeah it's mighty hot be right back so light's a little bit low in here but we'll make do we'll make do Hmm. Let's see, maybe this garage door light has like a uh, switch. It doesn't appear that's the case. Some garage door lights actually have like a little. Uh, no, those are one button lights. All right, never mind. So we're gonna kind of do this in the dark. Anyways. So, recommends that you use your uh, fender hooks here. Guess what it wants you to do is hook onto the subframe. So I kind of watched a video on this and it seemed kind of self-explanatory since she's hooks up to the uh, sides of the fender, which I reckon makes some sense to me. Oh, okay. I see. A little, a little easier to do in some actual light. The thing is, in real life, a lot of times you don't have just ideal conditions to baby you through the whole thing. Sometimes you just gotta soldier on and make do. Let's double check these instructions here. Hook it onto the fender. Alright. Adjust bags to set level. Basically put the strap on the fender. Well, the bag's kind of set on the seat just fine as is. So basically, these strap, these hooks here, let you move your straps back. But I don't want to move these things too far because we got the pipe here. Okay. Yeah, really the best place for this strap to sit is over here, so. I 
pick out these about even. And at this point, don't cinch it down like super tight. Just start laying the foundation for you cinching it down. Because you're going to want to cinch everything down when it's all wrapped up. Huh. Looks like we got a homecomer. Or let me pop off of this real quick. All right, so the instructions say to put this thing to where these straps are relatively tight on here. And now we're gonna try and figure out how the heck we do the front. Front strap around the bike. Well, what the heck does this strap go to? Oh. Uh. Alrighty. So it looks like we take this front strap here. Ah, goodness. This is a lot of, a lot of strap. Trim to fit your bike. Okay, this is where this all kind of goes to pots. Like, well, what buckle? What effing buckle do I put it through? Okay, so we thread the lower through the frame. Okay, it's secured through the frame. So what buckle? I'm guessing this buckle? Maybe I don't need like two foot of stuff. All right. Been a while since I put one of these together. Maybe it goes like this? Oh. Oh, that appears to be the magic deal there. Now let's see what the other side has to say. Pardon me for a second. Alright, so I think I'm cooking with uh, water now. I'm guessing this extra strap is really more so for if you wind up with like a, get, putting this on another bike and you've just done cut all of this stuff off of here. Or you have a bike with extraordinarily long mount points. Oof. I do the other side. Back and through the front. All right. So, one thing you're gonna want to bear in mind when you're doing this on a WR250R is that you see your brake switch wire here. You don't want to cinch your strap over your brake switch wire. That's actually a bad idea. You'll end up breaking your brake switch wire. That's your AIS servo. So you want to try and secure your stuff as far away from the pipe as you can. 
And from what I hear on the uh, internet, these uh, straps are fairly forgiving in that manner. Alright, so we've got a whole big bunch of cord here. I'm not sure I want to just chop all this off. And now that everything's kind of cinched down, I just want to like tighten it down even more. I have to say, uh, putting this on wasn't exactly rocket science. Though I can see where this might eventually wear or damage your fancy seat concept seat. But boy, these things do sure seem, uh, <clears throat> very secure. Because these straps are for something else. So I'm just going to kick these off to the side and save them for a rainy day. And I'm not describing a whole lot of what's going on. Basically, back strap, loop through the frame, attach to the front, fed through. Center the bags on the seat. And then basically hook to the fender and cinch everything down. And right now we have everything essentially cinched down. These straps are gonna be what kind of like holds your bag into a specific shape. Of room in here and some stuff for some a little bit of side stuff I'll probably cinch these down these are gonna receive my cold and wet weather gear hopefully So as right now, we're going to take this leftover strap and instead of cutting it off like they say that you probably should. I'm going to run it back through the seat loops. And tie it off. If I cut them off later, I'll, I'll see how that goes. But I'm just this is kind of like an experiment to see if these are functional. I know they're gonna work, but I mean, functional is like actual usable storage space. So I have a Joe Rocket set of wet pants and a wet jacket to toss in there. I don't think these things are gonna hold my uh. I don't think they are going to hold my uh tool pouch that's fine oh. oh man don't even notice that they're on there that's kind of nifty well let me load this thing up and we'll see how it works I'll be back in a few folks all right so time for the ultimate test of the bags we have my three layer joe rocket stuff well the first the warm layer is really just like a fleece vest, which doesn't do anything. I'm going to take our jacket here and fold it and roll this bad boy up, see if it fits in the bag. I know there's probably going to be a lot of people in the comments going, what are you doing? Triggering all sorts of folks. All right, let's see if this fits in this little bag here. Doesn't look like it would. Hope I'm pleasantly surprised. So, okay. Not gonna win any awards for uh, 
massive amount of storage. One rain jacket pretty much fills this side, so I'm not going to pack my cold ammo wet. They claim on the side it's like 22 liters of storage, but I'm... That might be a little bit of a... An exaggeration? That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> we'll see how this feels too while I'm riding. Then I get driven crazy by a... Oh man, it cinches up nice. Alright, pants will be easier. I can probably fit a pair of pants and a set of gloves or a pair of pants and a set of thermals, maybe. Yeah, I think this is a much lower uh, difficulty level of fitting in here. So who would these bags be for? Well, for guys like me who primarily try to ride off-road, but uh, sometimes due to circumstances need to have some storage on their bike and, well, spoiler alert, WR250R is not an overlander. I mean, you can make it one. Plenty of folks that adventurize this bike, but I mean, just kind of casually. It's not really an overlander. So we're gonna get up on the road and see what it's like. So to recap, the instructions. Adjust your bags to where they're sitting basically level on the sides. Hook your fender hooks under the fender, cinch that down with these, and make the adjustment like if they're on the back of the fender, make the adjustment so. Back strap of the bag around the frame, and through the loop, cinch that down forward. Try to dodge all of your exhaust and creamy wire nougat. Do the same thing on the other side. And bam, you've got bags. You have bags. So. Time for the test. Will this drive me crazy? 